Hey, what's up guys? This is Ayush. I'm here with another episode of Best iOS Apps. I will be demonstrating all these apps on this brand new iPhone 7 Plus. And if you guys have any suggestions about apps, please leave it down in the comment section below. Now, without any further ado, let's get this started. Now, first up, we have Captune. Quite honestly, I am not fond of redesigned music apps on the iOS 10, which led me to offer a third party solution. So, after spending quite some time on the App Store, I finally got this app called Captune from Sennheiser, which is, of course, a renowned audio brand. This app offers a refreshed UI, very simple yet functional. It prioritizes on music and equalizer. You can play around with the equalizer and edit every details according to your preference and then save it as your custom preset. Also you get this cool feature called sound check. Here you can adjust and define the sound by doing sound comparison tests. The good thing is you can save all your settings as a custom profile, meaning you don't have to change the settings every now and then. Additionally you can also change the color scheme of the UI. Here you can tap on the album art to go to the audio sources. This is basically whether you want to listen music from your phone, any particular playlist or from their cloud services. And if you're using Sennheiser's earphones, you can go to the sidebar. Select from the list which will automatically tweak the earphone settings to get the maximum out of it. For an audiophile like myself, this app is perhaps the perfect music app. Now next up we have ProCam. Now to lay down some frustrations, iPhone does not offer manual mode in the camera app. So to take full control over your camera, ProCam is the best manual camera app I have come across. You get full control over its aperture, shutter speed, ISOs and even more. You even have the ability to shoot raw images. Some noteworthy features with this app is a built-in leveler, focus assist and others. Apart from all this, you can also change settings for your photos and videos according to your preferences. So for all the pro shooters, I recommend you guys to check this app. Now next is Snapseed. With this amazing camera on the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, you will need a photo editing app to make it look just perfect. Snapseed is perfect for that purpose. It has basically all the pro tools required for photo editing. You can work on various aspects to fine tune the images, like details, healing, additional filters, even HDR, and you can also add all these fancy texts to give it a simple touch. Honestly, I feel it can literally transform your image. And all this is bundled with very easy to use user interface, which makes it one of the best photo editing apps. Now next we have Calm. Now this app basically helps reduce your stress, especially for better sleep. You can get a really nice scenery with a very soothing music playing in the background. I most often use this app to calm myself down after a hectic day and you know what? It works. Additionally, you can follow any programs and unlock new ones too. You can change the scenes or download new ones as well. Overall, a great app to relax your mind in a day-to-day -day life. Now next up is Widgets. Uh, yep, you heard it right, it's a Widgets with a V. I use it to place my mostly used apps and contacts on the Widgets page. And trust me, it's really convenient. The series suggestions always show the last used app, but you are limited to 4 or 8 contacts on the favorite contacts widget. After installation, simply add the widget on the widget page and from the app you can add favorite contacts, mostly used apps, storage, CPU usage, time and bunch of other tools. Additionally, you can also change the look and feel of the widget if you want to. All in all, it's a great utility app to get quick handy controls on your widget page. Now next up we have Motion Stills. Live Photos is a great way to relive your memories. To make it even better, Motion Stills enhances your live photos by stabilizing it. Furthermore, you can give a loop effect, mute the audio and add texts. You can also create a movie out of your live photos and then share it. Overall, it's a great app to make your live photos even better.
Now next is Wonder Keyboard. Wonder Keyboard is a unique keyboard app that tunes itself according to the persona. You can get text suggestions and emojis based of what you set your persona to be. For example, if I choose athlete, I get similar suggestions that matches with the person whenever I am typing with this keyboard. In short, it's a keyboard assistant. Also, the keyboard is pretty easy to use and is really stylish. You also get some pre-built 3D touch shortcuts like if you tap on W, you have what's up. Similarly, we have other shortcuts as well. And of course, you can always change your persona and add other extensions to your keyboard. Now next is 10,000 wallpapers. If you are a long time iOS user, you might agree that it does not have a decent set of default wallpapers. For this very reason, I have been using 10,000 wallpapers for quite some time now. And I feel this one is one of the best wallpaper apps out there. It has high quality, high resolution pictures and you get wide variety of wallpapers to choose from. Additionally, you can also browse through live photos. If you are into photography, you can also submit your pictures, which is again a great add-on. All in all, it's a great wallpaper app. Now next, we have Google Trips, a new app from Google that is great for travelers. It scans your inbox and your Google account for all the plane tickets, reservations and will show up here. Else, you can also add a new destination to plan a trip. As you can manage reservations, tourist destinations, transportation, place to eat and many more, this will definitely save your time while visiting a new place. The good thing is you can also download any location for your offline purpose. You get every single details of the places around, which is quite handy when traveling. Now the next pair of apps is from Google as well. That's Allo and Duo. Now Duo is for video calling while Allo is for instant messaging. Smart reply in Allo makes it easy to chat with a single tap. The accuracy in suggesting text and emoji responses based on your personality is amazing. Furthermore, you don't miss out on the regular chat features like stickers and doodles. And you can even chat in incognito mode, which will expire the chat history in a given time. A great addition there. Moreover, they have included Google Assistant that answers almost anything you ask. It's basically a Google search that interacts with you. Now Duo is an equally awesome app for video calling, regardless of whatever platform you use as FaceTime limits you to iOS devices only. So I use Duo and sometimes I use it over FaceTime as it is just as simple and instant. Any contact using this app will automatically show up here. You also get a preview of the person calling you and you can always turn that off as well. The call and video quality is also really smooth and lag free. I haven't faced any drops or unresponsiveness till date which is pretty awesome. Now this is the ultimate video calling app. So that was it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We will be coming up with more episodes pretty soon. Until then have a great day. Once again please.